Hello from your friends here at Eon Software. In this tutorial we are going to demonstrate how to create a beautiful nature scene in Max using View Extreme. To begin with we load in our Max Holiday house model. Then we start a new view scene right inside of Max. It prompts us for an atmosphere and we select the backlight atmosphere. Now let's load a terrain to use as a surrounding backdrop and sculpt in some features. The new view terrain editor is completely interactive and allows you to sculpt terrains organically using a variety of 3D brushes. You can also import height maps or even create terrains procedurally. Notice that you can move, rotate and scale any view object exactly like a max object using the max object manipulator gizmo. Let's apply material for the terrain. In this case we're using a mix of grass and dirt. View includes hundreds of natural materials to choose from. Okay now for the fun part. Let's paint an ecosystem of trees on the terrain. Using View's ecosystem technology, we can paint forests, grasslands, or any type of landscape. You simply add a 3D object to the brush tip and start painting. View then places the object instances automatically along the brush path. What could be easier than that? Another way to create populations is using View's dynamic ecosystems. Dynamic ecos are defined procedurally by specifying parameters such as density and diversity to define a population. Here we are going to define a large area of dense grass. The ecosystem is generated automatically at render time allowing the creating of very large and dense populations containing trillions of polygons. Now let's add some stone walkways to the scene. We begin by creating a long cube for the first walkway and then adjusting the position and scale. We add a nice stone material for the walkway and then duplicate it to create a second parallel walkway. Let's scatter a few individual plants around in the foreground. View contains hundreds of individual plant species where no two plants are ever exactly alike. Here we start with a view date palm and replicate it to create an ordered array of palm trees. In this case we are creating identical clones of each date palm, but we could also create unique instances for each tree as well. It's completely up to you, the artist, to decide how it should look. Let's add a nice spring alder tree to the foreground by simply dragging the tree from the view tree collection into the scene and then using the max gizmos to adjust and place the tree. Okay, we're finished. Let's take a look with a quick render. The view render engine is fully integrated with the max render engine, providing perfectly matched lighting and shadows. You can also adjust the view lighting and atmospheric settings to produce a variety of different appearances. For more information, please visit our website at eonsoftware.com or visit the forums and galleries at cornucopia3d.com. Thanks for watching.